This video brought to you by RipTea.com. If you're ready to upgrade and try the most comfortable underwear and t-shirts that you've ever felt on your skin, make sure that you use the promo code DRONETECH to get 20% off most items. Thank you. We thought he was going to reinforce exactly what Ambassador Volker told us last week. But again, unfortunately, when you have a Speaker of the House who says we need to strike while the iron's hot, when you have a Chairman of the Committee who is so biased against this President that he wouldn't even tell us that he had met with his staff, had met with the whistleblower prior to the whistleblower filing the complaint. And frankly, this is a pattern with Mr. Chip. Welcome back everyone. It seems that we can't get through a single day without the high and mighty media hypocritically lecturing the country about the need for truth, while they themselves mangle the facts in partisan pursuit of their political opposition. The latest example comes from CNN's Jim Shudo, who joins the growing list of Democrats and media members who concoct completely made up Republican quotes. Jim's failures began when he made the erroneous claim that the Trump administration had blocked all requests for documents going all the way back to the Mueller investigation. So that's been a fundamental position of this administration, right? They're blocking all requests for documents, subpoenas, etc., uh, going back through into the Mueller investigation. Wrong. Strange, because it was widely reported that the Trump administration was quite forthcoming with documents and staffers during the Mueller investigation. Bloomberg reported on this, saying, quote, the Trump administration voluntarily voluntarily turned over tens of thousands of documents and allowed more than two dozen White House staffers from White House Counsel McGahn to initial Chief of Staff's Reds Priebus to be interviewed without asserting executive privilege. Not only that, but the Trump administration was quick to release the original complaint and the transcript of the call with the Ukrainian president. Shudo is reaching here and in a plainly partisan manner, not exactly the behavior of a good faith journalist. I'm constantly wondering how I, some rando on YouTube, seems to be better informed than these supposed journalistic professionals. I did some searching and Jim Shudo doesn't appear to have any formal journalism training, but he was a political appointee in the Obama administration. Something they don't disclose during their broadcast for obvious reasons. If they did, everybody would know that CNN is filled with Democrat officials and operatives. Jim wasn't done reporting misinformation though. Right after starting to introduce his new guest, Jim Shudo launched into a doomed attempt to fact check Jim Jordan. Claiming that Jim Jordan said Adam Schiff met with the whistleblower before the complaint was filed. Susan Glasser, Sungmin Kim, uh, Jennifer, help us understand from a legal perspective here. Actually, before I do that, just one quick fact check, because Jim Jordan said that uh, Adam Schiff met with the whistleblower pr prior. That's not true. He didn't meet with him. Uh, the whistleblower apparently reached out to the office and then was guided to, to issue uh, the whistleblower uh, complaint via the process. Wrong. Get your facts straight, Shudo. This is what Jim Jordan actually said. You have a chairman of the committee who is so biased against this president that he wouldn't even tell us that he had met with his staff, had met with the whistleblower prior to the whistleblower filing the complaint. And frankly, this is a pattern with Mr. Schiff. This fact is not disputed. Adam Schiff's staff met with the whistleblower before the complaint was filed. Schiff actually lied about this during interviews, claiming that, quote, we never met with the whistleblower before the complaint was filed. We have not spoken directly with the whistleblower. How does he explain that when clearly at that point the whistleblower had come to Chairman right. Schiff's committee? So uh, we talked uh, for a couple minutes last night. He uh, expressed regret uh, for not having uh, been more clear in his wording. Even the left-leaning Washington Post fact-checker labeled Schiff's claims, quote, flat-out false. Why in the world is Jim Shudo lying in order to perpetuate a debunked lie? It doesn't seem like something an objective news correspondent would do and more like the actions of a political operative. If members of the media are going to constantly present themselves as gatekeepers of the facts, they should maybe work a little harder to make sure they actually have the facts. It's ridiculous. I mean, the video of Jim Jordan speaking plus just before Shudo's failed fact check. The lack of attention to detail is either intentional or 
just more proof that these people are not the professionals they claim to be. That's all I have for you today. If you're a YouTube creator or you've been thinking about getting into it, then you should go and check out my Discord server. It's a place for people to gather, collaborate, and discuss politics. You can find the link in the description and pin comment. Before you go, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.